Hello everybody, Leon X here, and welcome back to another gameplay of God's Basement. So, uh, I think, uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Sorry it took me so long to do this recording. And uh, yeah, we are almost done with this game. As far as I looked into the main menu, there was only, uh, like, what, two chapters? Two chapters to complete, and yeah, I think this could be the last gameplay for this game. So let's get started. And brutal crime scene emerged this weekend within a quiet neighborhood within a quiet suburban neighborhood. Two victims, Neil Young and Sarah Young, were viciously stabbed by an assailant. The two parents leave an infant son behind. Authorities do not have a lead. And it was reported that each victim was stabbed over thirty times, resulting in the face of faith in the face of victims to be heavily, heavily distorted and mangled. This brutal crime has shocked the local community. Okay. I did something unspeakable. I killed them. I murdered them both. I didn't know what to do. I had nothing to do before. I'm sorry. I gotta listen to this. It was obvious that, yeah, it was the grandmother that killed both of them. Now, I think the next obvious question is, what happened to the grandmother? I'm pretty sure we did something bad, too. Fatal accident that occurred last week. Was this? Oh, this is old stuff. I think we read this some, somewhere back at the beginning. Uh, yep, same thing. Yep, same thing. Okay. Now... What do we do? And that is creepy. Creepy red lights. So either something's gonna jump out at me or what? Get the knife, get the new radio, get the phone, place the knife on her bed, replace the old radio, place the phone on the outside table. Wait outside her room. Same thing. Ah. I'm guessing that's her room. Got my flashlight. Okay. So let's go look for those items then. Radio. Oh, it's right over here. Knife. Radio. Oh. Uh, same thing. Uh, okay. Alright. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay, so phone. What? Knife. Radio. Jeez. That is torture. That is pain and suffering right there to the very end. That is not a way to go. Hmm. If he wanted to to really put her <laughs> to end her misery, there's some things like you know, <laughs> like mm, overdosing on some pills or taking some uh, something that will knock you out and you won't feel anything. Oh jeez. to become that character. You replaced the old radio and then played an audio file telling her to stab herself repeatedly with a knife. You knew she was delusional and had episodes of schizophrenia. She followed your instructions and eventually bled to death due to her self-inflicted injuries. Since all the evidence pointed to a suicide, you weren't charged with anything. You finally got what you wanted. You were finally free. You might be wondering how exactly you ended up dead. Well, for the first few months, you lived your life carefree. You actually enjoyed life to some extent, not being tied down by an ill relative. But eventually, that all came crashing down. It started off with brief, horrific, gruesome nightmares. 
visions of her stabbing herself endlessly, blood gushing out of her wounds, flooding your mind with blood-red guilt. Slowly, these nightmares leak into your daily life. You'd see her out of the corner of your eye, whether you were driving, walking down the street, or at work. Even though you killed her, she never really left. She lived in your mind and haunted you every day until you eventually couldn't fall asleep. Every time you closed your eyes, even for the briefest of moments, she'd manifest in your subconscious. Eventually you went to the hospital and you were prescribed sleep medicine, but that only suppressed the issue. Slowly your body adjusted to the medicine and you needed to increase the dose for the medicine to be effective. This process kept repeating until you were taking multiple times the recommended amount. You were addicted, until one night you overdosed on sleep medication. Right now, in this moment, your physical body is currently in a hospital bed, hovering between the thin line of life and death. You're still probably wondering why you're here in God's basement. I'll finally tell you who I am and what this place really is. God's basement is a realm for those who have committed great sin, but are still redeemable. The individuals that arrive in God's basement relive their own versions of hell, allowing them to reflect on their life and watch their slow descent into evil. Their resentment, hate, bitterness, and jealousy accumulate until those emotions manifest themselves through atrocious acts, yours being murder. You were backed into a corner, watching your life slowly pass you by. All those opportunities you sacrificed. All that potential wasted. You became bitter and resentful. Many could sympathize with you. Many might have even done the same. You were hopeless and it felt like you were inside a living hell. I am called the Operator. I am an entity that manifests in God's basement. I manifest myself in different ways depending on the person. My job is to guide the person inside God's basement and allow them to relive their life from a different perspective. In your case, I manifested with many characteristics resembling the man in the radio. Hopefully this explanation cleared everything up. You're still probably wondering what happens now that you have all your memories. I mentioned earlier that God's basement are for those who are still redeemable. Even though you committed an atrocious sin, you were trapped in a hopeless existence. Also, the person you killed wasn't really your grandmother. She was a shell of her former self. Your grandmother died long ago. Part of you wanted to see her suffering cease. Your crime was both cruel and merciful at the same time. You are going to get a second chance at life. Pretty soon you're going to wake up in a hospital bed out of your drug-induced coma. Learn to live with what you did. The feelings of guilt, paranoia, and pain will never completely go away. James, make the most out of life, and be grateful for this second chance. One last thing. Good luck. Wow. So I lived, huh? You get, you get another second chance. Uh, man, if he wanted to <laughs> murder his, well, put her, put his mother, uh, grandmother out of her suffering, he could have done something different than just a uh, knife. God, that's brutal. But I guess, you know, like, I don't know, I... I think from what the operator said, he probably found out who killed his real parents, right? So I guess he wanted to get her back for that? I don't know. But, yeah, it's pretty sad. 
But no on that, a pretty good game. I I actually do enjoy playing this game. Yeah, it's pretty short, but um not not bad. The puzzles aren't too bad, except for that one <laughs> that one uh uh level where you had to push the the buttons to make them all blue. Yeah, that took me a while. I had to totally edit that out cuz I don't think you guys want me to keep on pushing button, keep on guessing cuz I could not figure that out. I had to edit it to the part where I figured it out. Yeah. But on that, a real good game. I, I do recommend it. I, I do recommend uh, those of you who watch this uh, who are interested. Yes, please do get the game. Or if you want, wait until there's a sale on the game. Uh, in fact, the winter sale uh, for Steam is still going on right now. Get it before it ends soon, I think. Um, it's it's going to end. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to end tomorrow, so... Yeah, pretty creepy. Uh, it, the the I think the pacing of this game is 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 just right for, for for in my opinion, it's just right. Puzzles aren't too bad. Hello, I'm the developer of God's Basement. You you reached the end, and I want to say thank you for playing through the whole game. I'm still pretty new to creating video games, so I hope the experience was bearable. Hopefully, you enjoyed the experience. Maybe someday you'll play another one, one of my games if I'm able to release another one. Thanks again, Erebus. Erebus, you did a damn pretty good job on this game. I I loved it. It's a good game. Good, great game. All right, so I guess that is it for God's Basement. Um, let's see. What, okay, so that's it. Okay, so yeah, that is it for God's Basement. I hope you guys enjoy the the gameplay for it, and uh. Yeah, like I said, I do recommend it. So yeah, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Please remember to subscribe, comment, share, and like the video. And hit that notification bell button next to the subscribe button just to let you know what I'm going to do. And if you guys can, do support the channel. There's a PayPal Streamlabs link on the video description below, as well as my Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time on another gameplay. Have a good day and Happy New Year.